Hello Orcut Artist, Mrs. Larrabee here. We're not in the art room today. Today we're at Mr. Scott Shafford's uh, pottery studio, which is in your garage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you for having us today. You might recognize Mr. Shafford, or at least his name, from school. He also works for the Orcut District. He's one of our school counselors. And I'll give you some information because he uses some of his artwork as well um, on his blog that he has for us um, as part of the district. We're in his garage, which works as his studio. You can see the potter's wheel, this beautiful piece that's on the potter's wheel. He's actually gonna demonstrate for us. We'll see how it goes from clay to this piece in our interview with Orcut artist, Scott Schaffer. So this is a, what would we call a home studio. So it's in my garage. And so I've set it up for two wheels. <clears throat> this is my throwing wheel. Getting the clay right where it's not doing this, where it's centered in the center of the bat so that when you're throwing and you're throwing the cylinder up, it's not doing this. So if the, the more the clay is centered in the center of the bat, the easier it is for it to flow up without wobbling. And once you get that to where you want it as far as thickness and we'll go into the next step. Still a little too thick. I dig a little deeper. And this is just patience. Part of throwing clay like anything else in life is patience. It takes effort, it takes time doing it again and again and again. So now we're going to do its, its first throw. Now some people do it differently. Some people do it like this. Some people do it with a knuckle. I, I do it with more of a this way. So then I slow it down a little bit more. And then we do our first pull. So even within the problems, you'll see um, that sometimes the effect looks okay. You're not too disappointed and you just kind of go with it. But the mistakes are just keep with it. You're going to make mistakes. You kind of go in there with that attitude of I'm going to make some mistakes sometimes. But sometimes those mistakes are fixable or alterable to where you can still get a, a, a form or a, or a uh, vessel that goes, now that looks pretty good. And then you found a way to fix or cover the mistake in a way that nobody would ever know. You would just kind of go, oh, well, I know it did, mm -hmm. but they don't. And many pottery tools are made because you make them. Some are purchased. Some, you know, there are ones that you buy in kits as well as individually. You've got different shapes of ribs that potters use to get different effects in different shapes. So this is again just a rib that I found that I like using. And then you just from the inside you start pushing it out.
So, and there we have it. We cut this off and we let it dry and then we take it to the trimming level next. So then you take your pot off the wheel, you flip it upside down and then you take some tools like these. This would be a trimming tool. And you trim off all the rough edges at the bottom. You can make, <clears throat> uh, you know, you can just uh, make the shape a little more uniform if you want to take some off the sides. However you want to do that, but that's what this is. These are different trimming tools. And that is called greenware. So this is called greenware at this point. Then you take that amongst many and you put them in a kiln for a first firing. That's called a bisque firing. And so then the pot will become um, you know, baked <laughs> um, to a hardness that allows you then to take that pot out and then put glaze on it and then put it back into a kiln for its second firing and that's called the glaze firing. And so there are different types of glazes that you use to get the kind of surface and the color and the different textures that you might want and then you're done with that once you have the glaze firing. So that's our piece. Sorry it took a little longer. You might have to sort of fast forward the edit. <laughs> no, that's totally, I mean, that's wonderful. There were so many good spots in there.